Hey, Boxy here. Today we're going to find out what secrets are hiding behind this brick wall in the new school. I'll also show you how to get onto the Adopt Me Test Lab game so you can check out all the latest updates coming into the game. But first, it's giveaway time. If you want the chance to win a ride potion, just follow these three easy steps. Subscribe to the channel, press that like button and comment your Roblox username down below. Winners of all my giveaways are announced to my YouTube community tab and Roblox group. Guys, there's a whole bunch of new things over on the Adopt Me Test Lab that we're going to explore today, including the new teleporters for getting around the map super quick. I know that some of you are struggling with getting onto the test lab, so let's show you how to do that first. There are a few ways to do it. Firstly, whilst playing the normal Adopt Me game, a notification message may pop up asking you if you want to jump over onto the Adopt Me test lab. If you accept, Adopt Me will close down and the test lab will load up for you. Obviously that way doesn't guarantee that you'll be invited onto the test lab, so the best way to try it out for yourselves is by finding it in the Roblox launcher. Type in test lab into your search bar and search experiences. Unfortunately, some people have created fake Adopt Me test lab games. It's fairly obvious which is the correct one though, as it has a 90% thumbs up rating at the time of recording, whereas the others are fairly low. Plus, when the servers open, it will have thousands of people in it. It's worth favoriting this game so you can easily find it in the future. I'll also put a link to the game within the description down below, so it's easy to find. So this is the Adopt Me Test Lab. Here we'll be testing out new experimental features to get your feedback. This game is only online when Adopt Me want to test new features, so you need to keep an eye on the game or check out Adopt Me's social media and Discord channel where they sometimes announce that it's live. Ok, let's check it out. So here we are in Adopt Me Test Lab. You're entering the Adopt Me Test Lab. Your data will be different from the main game and will reset often. Would you like to continue? We then get an Adopt Me message telling us we're in the test lab and that they're trying out experimental changes. Let's start testing. We get to choose baby or parent, just like the real game. Warning, this is the test server, so nothing will save and servers will shut down frequently. Basically, don't put in too much effort here or get attached to your pets as you'll lose all your progress once the server has shut down. And there we go, we're in the game. I have a dodo. In fact, they give you some random pets and items to start off with. The best I've got is this dodo, but I've seen people with shadow dragons and giraffes, so it's down to look what you get. The food items are always interesting as you can get ride and fly potions here, including diamond lavenders and honey pots. Ok, let's go explore what's changed. So there doesn't seem to be any differences in the neighbourhood, let's go check out Adoption Island. It's worth noting that things you do in the test lab will not affect your main account in the real Adopt Me game. So feel free to spend all your bucks here and use the potions as you'll still have your stuff in the main Adopt Me game. Have you noticed how my character is running faster than normal? I'm not sure if this is something they're looking to introduce or if it's just for the test lab, allowing people to test things quicker. Cool, so the map has been updated in this test server. You can see that the nursery has been moved to the back, freeing up this central area. I really like this change as it allows you to see everyone easier, without the nursery being in the way. There are also seating areas around here, which is pretty cool for chatting with your friends. Ooh, you see this behind me? That's the new teleporter. This one takes you to the camping site, and then there are more around here. We've got the trading hub teleporter, and another one for the park. I don't think there are any more though. Let's go through it. And there we go, we're at the park. It saves us having to run to the park or use the stroller button to teleport to the baby shop to get here. Much easier. And then we can quickly go back to the centre by using it again. Nice! Let's go through the trade hub door. Ok, so we're over by the farm shop and safety hub. It's interesting how they called this teleporter the trade hub. Maybe they're changing the name of the safety hub, or perhaps they're introducing a trading hub into the game. Anyway, these teleporters are amazing. We can get around the map so much quicker now to teleport to those tasks. Let's try out that camp teleporter. So cool! Getting over to the camping site was a bit of a pain previously, but this is going to make completing the camping task so much easier. Ok, the other change they made in here is that the school has had a complete new layout. Let's go check it out. Nice! Check this place out. So we now have this central area rather than the corridor. We then have all the other rooms leading off it, with the school office located up the ramp. 
There's also this brick wall here. I wonder what's behind it. Maybe a school canteen or a sports hall. Whatever it is, they're keeping it a secret for now by putting a brick wall in our way. But let's be honest, that's not going to stop us checking it out, is it? Let's glitch through it with a pet. Okay, so we can get our dodo through the wall. So if we throw a ride potion on this, we can get through it. Although, this is a test server and it's going to be a waste of a ride potion when this server resets. Let's ask someone instead to help us out. Would you mind getting a stroller out and glitching me through this wall? Cool, this kind person's going to help out. And we're through, nice. Ah, oh, that's a shame, there's nothing but darkness through here. I was hoping for an empty room for us to check out. Let's check around the building a bit more. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh well, at least we now know. So there you have it guys, that's how you get onto the Adopt Me Test Lab. It looks like they're going to introduce map changes, teleporters and the school layout has been updated. And there's a brick wall that's covering up a room that hasn't yet been revealed to us. This is The Box and as always thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time, Boxy out!